Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the 119th installment of what I like to call What I Eat Wednesdays, where we take a look at some of those What I Eat in a Day as a Fat Person videos on TikTok. I'm sure you can tell by my voice that I am sick. How wonderful. I'm going to be releasing some merch soon, like some posters, some stickers, some t-shirts. So let me know some of your favorite sayings of mine that you would like to see on that merch in a comment below. Also, please be sure to check out a video I released over the weekend on my second channel about Steven Seagal and his delusions of grandeur. Here's a link. Before we proceed, please click the like button so that I may apply comb to mustache. What I eat in a day as a 26 year old on a calorie deficit. <laughs> on a calorie deficit. Let's go. It's one of those days I'm opening a Dr. Pepper Zero. You the ASMR. Some people, it's that first sip of iced coffee in the morning, but for me, it's the for me first sip of Dr. Pepper Zero or Diet Coke. Dude, that's insane to have a soda first thing in the morning, even if it is diet. Yum. Okay, so for breakfast this morning, we are going to have a key lime chobani flip. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know. Key lime flavored. Okay, so it's all oh, sugar. I'm in love with these. They are so delicious. So good that I risk quite literally my life because I'm lactose and this has whole milk in it. Yeah. You're lactose intolerant, but you're eating this product that has lactose because it tastes good. Okay. Only live once though, am I right? Oh. You only live once, so let's eat products that contain lactose when we are lactose intolerant. We do only live once, but how long we live comes down to our personal decisions. Also, the quality of our lives comes down to our personal decisions. I am allergic to prawns, but you only live once, so let me eat some prawns and then maybe I will stop living. <laughs> also have some baby carrots. These were really tasty this morning. Get these from Target and they're really good and super cheap. Okay, next up, I'm having a protein brownie. This is from Prime Bites. This is an a protein brownie. Okay. The flavor chocolate glazed donut. When I say this is delicious, absolutely delicious. Okay, if it's all sweet and it tastes like a cookie or a brownie, then it is definitely not helping you in your weight loss, my friend. Okay, I definitely recommend ditching the protein brownie and instead having this. This is an egg. It's not a chicken egg, it's one of my eggs. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry to be weird as fuck. <laughs> I ovulated this myself. It's full of nutrients. I insist that you eat it. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I just, I can't stop being weird, man. This is dessert. It's dessert, you guys. I don't have much time. Okay, that was a dessert protein brownie. I'm gonna record my lunch because I got super busy. I only had- Okay, you had leftover tenders here. We're just gonna call that tendies. Much time to record my lunch because I got super busy. I only had time oh to- Oh my gosh. My Are you sure you're in a caloric deficit with all this wacky food, my friend? Now you're about to just drink a container of Sonic nacho cheese. You've gone completely off the deep end, madam. All right, for dinner, we went to Sonic and I had their pretzel twist, so delicious. Dude, I love those soft pretzels in all of their various different forms. Get it away from me! Go to that place in the mall that has all those wacky little cheeses that you dip it in, you bastards. Get it away from me. I usually eat this with cheese. All right, and then I wash this down with a Coke Zero this time, not a Dr. Pepper. That's how you know I'm absolutely exhausted and burnt out when I have... <laughs> what? Not a Dr. Pepper. That's how you know I'm absolutely exhausted and burnt out when I have one of each in one day. Right, so I knew I It was a Diet Dr. Pepper and a Coke Zero kind of day. Oh man, it must have been a rough one, I guess. Okay. I had to get a little bit more protein in, so I ordered this chili cheese dog with no bun. I oh my god, that looked so disgusting. I don't mean to be gross, but in, so I it looks like it's already being eaten. Order this chili cheese dog with no bun. It's actually pretty good. Thanks for coming along, y'all. Bye. All right, let's take a look at that one and add it up. 
Okay, so you started the day off with a diet Dr. Pepper. I definitely don't recommend that, of course. After that, you had a key lime pie yogurt, which was all sugar. And then after that, you had some baby carrots. A little further on into the day, you decided to have a protein brownie. And then you had some leftover tendies for lunch. After that, you went over to Sonic and got a soft pretzel, a Coke Zero, and a chili cheese dog with no bun. All right, after very little deliberation, I have come to a decision. I'm gonna give this one a... 1 out of 10. To increase your score, I would recommend not starting your day off with a soda of any sort. Even if it's diet, you don't want to set that unhealthy precedent first thing in the morning of drinking sodas. I would ditch the key lime pie yogurt and have a regular plain Greek yogurt. The baby carrots or whatever go nuts. I would ditch the protein brownie, have eggs or some other protein source instead. Ditch the tendies, ditch the soft pretzel, the Coke Zero, and the chili cheese dog with no bun, and instead substitute a simple home-cooked meal with a heavy focus on protein, have a fruit or a veg in there with a lesser focus on carbs. Next, what I eat in a day as a fat person who doesn't diet. All right, this is floral frosting. We've seen her a few times. She always has the most interesting sweaters. Oh, hey. Sorry, I didn't want to be rude and not do that back. Okay. All right, we're starting the day off with some good old fruit and nut bars. Gluten-free. Okay. That's good that there's no gluten in there. That's what'll get you. Plenty of sugar in those, though, huh? <laughs> they didn't forget that part. And then we're gonna have some drugs. All right, hell yeah, let's party. Party time, excellent. First thing in the morning, let's go. I'm just kidding, those are likely necessary medications. Don't do drugs, kids. Not sure, once again, why we are filming ourselves taking medications. White chocolate matcha. Oh, this is the person that has like 80 different variations of matcha in every single video. <laughs> They're like, I had this kind of matcha, then I had this matcha, then I went over there and had their kind of matcha. All right, white chocolate matcha. Oh my god, ugh. Personally, I think that matcha tastes like grass clippings. So mixing it with various different things like white chocolate sounds like a big fat waste of white chocolate to me. <laughs> if you like matcha, dude, whatever, that's fine. I'm, I'm not judging you. I'm just saying personally, for me, it tastes like grass clippings. They were out of banana bread matcha. What the hell? Where are you getting these bizarre matchas, my friend? I suggest you move away from that matcha store. Is this another matcha place, bro? Is this a bakery that we're going to now that also serves matcha? Monster cake and latte. There's always a smile. Okay. A meal deal and watermelon bubble tea. You're having a lot of sugar every day. Okay, the meal deal is that sandwich, pretzel thins, candy bar, and a boba. Cheese and onion sandwich? Okay. This must be a thing over there in the UK. I've never seen such a thing. At first I thought that was like a chicken salad or a tuna salad sandwich. Okay. Watermelon bubble tea. Okay, I don't know why you bit that all slowly and sensually. I wish you would stop. Tuna veg pasta. There's tuna in there? What? And cheese? Wait a gosh darn. There's tuna and veg in there. All I see are noodles, sauce, and cheese. Am I blind? Am I stupid? Don't answer that. Shut up. Um, 
All right, maybe I'm just blind, but I don't see the tuna or the veg. That just looks like regular old pasta with tomato sauce and cheese on it to me. Love you, bye. All right, love you too, bye. Let's take a look at that one and add it up. All right, so you started the day off with a fruit and nut bar, which I do not recommend because that was nothing but sugar and carbs. And then you had a white chocolate matcha. I would recommend if we're going to have some sort of matcha that we don't have a ton of sugar in it. And then after that, you had a monster cake and latte. Okay, a little bit of early morning dessert going on there. Later on, we decided to quit screwing around and have a sandwich, pretzel thins, a candy bar, and a boba tea. And then we wrapped up the evening by having a tuna veg pasta, which looked like regular old pasta to me. All right, after much deliberation, I have come to a decision. I'm gonna give this one a one out of 10. I wanted to give that a better score, but there's just a ton of sugar and wacky crap in here. The good things from this day were the sandwich and the tuna veg pasta thing could be okay if we have less pasta and more tuna veg. To increase your score, I would recommend getting more protein into your day, having more fruit and veg, and less carbs. And I would definitely ditch all of that sugar. Next. Welcome back to what I eat in a day as a plus size girly. Y'all, I recorded myself in my pajamas last night because I knew I had to wake up early and kind of run out the door. So I didn't think I would remember in the morning to make this little video, but I did here. You filmed yourself in pajamas last night for today's video. Here's me up at the butt crack of dawn and ready to go. Starting off strong, my friend had me try a date and I took the littlest <laughs> freaking bite and here's me laughing because i'm like super nervous and i laugh when i'm nervous you laugh when you're nervous that's interesting do you do that in like a job interview all right so it says here that you went to brown university that's a very terrible university and i have no respect for it or anybody that's ever gone to it so why don't you tell me a little bit about your work history okay well mostly i've been working in the field <laughs> <laughs> uh mostly i've been <laughs> Yes, your work history, please. Get on with it. Yeah, so I was a structural engineer over at Lockheed Martin. <laughs> <laughs> and I took like the tiniest little bite and hated it. I you hated a date. Well, I would recommend not starting the day off with a date because even though that's fruit, that is one of the sweetest fruits that there are. I literally gave it to her bunny rabbit, which was very like cute, honestly, not gonna lie. Then we went straight to Philly because I wanted to get there early so that I could, you know, go on with my day. We got cheese steaks and cheese fries and drinks. We each ate like half of it, but... Okay, so the date was gross and weird, but this was good. And drinks. We each ate like half of it, but we wanted two different things, so we didn't share. And then you started eating all these pumpkins? Oh my god, you've gone completely insane. Then we walked around this little park that- Oh, you just walked around them a little bit. Okay. I like to go to. And we got some drinks and pretzels. She had never had these before, but of course we got some dips and they were all- What are those dips? Some. I swear to god, if that's chocolate for the pretzels, you crazy bastard. Alright, let's go back. So you had sodas and you had some stupid pretzels and dips before but of course we got some dips and they were awesome i i want to know what those brown dips are so had like three cups of coffee okay we can read the label right here what does it say it says medium ice original coffee three caramel swirls and that's all for today love you all right love you too bye a lot of people are loving me today i like that let's take a look at that one and add it up all right so you started the day off with a date it is fruit, but like I said, it's a ton of sugar, so I would not recommend that. And then after that, you went and got yourself a Philly cheese. And then further on into the evening, you decided to have a soda with some pretzels and dips. And then you wrapped up the evening by having a sweet coffee. All right, after much deliberation, I have come to a decision. I'm going to give this one a 1 out of 10.
To increase your score, I would recommend starting your day off with an actual breakfast that has all of your food groups covered, a protein, a starch, a fruit or veg, instead of just a date. I would ditch that Philly cheese and make it at home with a whole bunch of meat. I would ditch the soda, ditch the pretzels and dips. Instead, substitute all of that with simple home-cooked meals with a heavier focus on protein. So what do you think of my scores? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Leave a comment below. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Anyway, that about does it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.